Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, lately I've been hearing a lot of talk about these so-called smart cars. You know, basically a glorified golf cart that people actually drive around on the roads. Now, with fuel prices being what they are these days, I can certainly understand the impetus to uh, try and save on commuting expenses. But frankly, driving one of those overpriced golf carts on Idaho's backcountry roads would be anything but intelligent. So, when it comes to saving money on commuting expenses, this is my solution to the problem. This is a Ford Ranger, uh, early 90s model, relatively inexpensive truck to pick up these days. Uh, it's basically stock. The only significant modification I've made is the addition of this plywood fairing to the back. Um, if you've got a flat plate in an Airstream, you know, you'll tend to get a high pressure zone forming on the front of the plate and a low pressure zone forming in, in the wake or behind the plate. Um, both of those zones contribute to the overall aerodynamic drag on, in this case, the flat plate. So if you've got a, a vehicle or something that you want to minimize the aerodynamic drag, the way you do that is by minimizing the flat surfaces that are normal to the flow or perpendicular to the direction of airflow or the direction of vehicular travel, which of course is equivalent in, in the case of something like this. And it's actually, if anything, it's the back surfaces that are more significant, although they're, they're both uh, significant considerations. And so what I've done here, just taken this, basically a piece of plywood uh, with a piece of plexiglass in the middle so I can still see out the back, and that goes from the top of the back of the cab down to the point of the lowered tailgate. You know, that eliminates the front surface of the tailgate, the back surface of the tailgate, and also the back surface of the rear windshield. And uh, overall, I get about a 10% improvement in fuel economy from putting something like this on this vehicle. Now bear in mind, these old trucks really get remarkably good gas mileage, especially for a four-wheel drive vehicle. Uh, it's not uncommon to get 28 to 30 miles to the gallon on the highway, and so with this, I can get as much as 33. That makes this a relatively inexpensive vehicle to drive uh, you know, on the highway for trips or commuting purposes. And yet, if I need to get off the beaten path, it'll do that too. 